everybody. Welcome to January's Healthy Facts Recipes. Thank you for joining us. I'm making some fabulous recipes today with you, and we really appreciate you shopping at your local health food store. We're going to make a great shepherd's pie. Everyone loves shepherd's pie. Why? Because it's mashed potatoes on top of yummy veggies and a lovely seasonings, and it's comfort food, and it's good. And we're going to do it today as fast as we can because I'm a lazy cook. How about you, Linda? Do you like yes. to be in the kitchen? Yes. That's right. I'm going to throw in a, a, a sweet potato or a yam here just to give it some, just to give the sweet potato, uh, the mashed potatoes more nutrition. And um, that'll just add to the, uh, you know, diversity of the dish. So we're just going to chop up our, veg our potatoes, get them in the boiling water for about 25 minutes, and then um, let those cook while you get the other part ready. It's going to be a fast way to go. Okay, I'm not going to chop these real well because they're going to be boiled, so it's okay. Get your organic carrots and then just put them off the top so you don't have to peel them. That will save you time. And um, the, the, there's really good nutrition on the peel, so we don't need to peel them. So I'm just going to kind of get these chopped and get this in some uh, also boiling water, get your water started. So we're cooking the carrots and the celery at the same time as our potatoes. You can also, you know, add anything to this dish. Mushrooms, zucchini, whatever, you know, shepherd's pie is so versatile. There's a lot of different things you can do. In the bottom part of our shepherd's pie with the cooked carrots and the celery, you know, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of things in this big bowl and then we'll put that at the bottom of the casserole and then put our, our mashed potatoes on top, right? I'm going to use a can of lentils, and you can use um, a, a, a ground beef substitute or you know meat if you're a meat eater. Um, so there's a lot of different variety. Mushrooms would be also a good uh, addition. Walnuts would be good. Kind of walnuts uh, has nice meaty kind of texture when it's cooked like that. It's especially in combination with the lentils might be nice. So I'm going to put in some lentils and a can of diced tomatoes. You know I should drain those, so I'm going to drain those. And then just going to put in some minced garlic out of the jar because we're the lazy chef today. And some seasonings. I've got some Italian um, Italian herb blend and some thyme, a little salt and pepper. And when I mix all this, I'll taste it, layer it on the bottom. It's going to be quick and simple. Put the potatoes on top. Sprinkle a little bit of, um, sprinkle a little paprika on top for color. It depends if you use the sweet potato or not. And we'll just be able to stick this in the oven. From beginning to end, this shepherd's pie will not take you as long as normal. You can do it all within an hour. I'm going to prepare a very delicious lemon poppy seed cake. And this is a, a rest, like a secret recipe that my girlfriend got from like the Starbucks lemon poppy seed cake. So. Do you like lemon poppy seed, Linda? Mm, yummy, yummy. It's good. This is a good one. Sounds good. Yeah. And instead of a lot of butter and oil and eggs, we're, we're you know, it was just, I revamped it and it was still delicious and I, I'm very excited about it. I made it a several times. I haven't made it for a while, but anyway, you put your, your whole, whole wheat pastry flour, white flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt in a little bowl. And then in the mix master, we're going to get started with egg replacer powder and that is basically just like a potato starch. It's it's you buy it at the um, you know your health food store will have this egg replacer powder. There's a never-ending shelf life on that. So go ahead and get it because you you will use it and it comes in handy. And then where did I put my water? Here it is. Okay, with six tablespoons of warm water. Probably should have done that in one of my smaller mixing bowls. We'll get that going. And that'll kind of um fluff up and combine, okay? And then we'll put in some organic cane juice crystals once this is going. We have some softened earth balance butter. You can buy the sticks of earth balance. Um, just let it sit out. Some vanilla, lemon zest, lemon juice. Now, I, I bought two lemons for this recipe and I got all the zest out and then you divide the zest and you divide the juice a little bit for the icing and the cake part. And we have a little grapeseed oil in the recipe and uh, secret, it's one of those little snack packs of organic applesauce that adds 
you know, some of that nice moistness with no fat. And then we're just going to... No gonna, fat. No fat. fat. That's right. Okay, so this is uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to add the sugar. Just a little bit of butter. Put in our lemon dust. Poppy seeds are going in. And you turn it lower to add your flour so it doesn't flour mixture. That's a great looking. So it doesn't fly all over the place. Yeah. Well, I'll put I'll put in my other uh, my applesauce and my my oil now. It looks beautiful. So we, we made a healthier version of a very decadent cake. There's still a little bit of fat in here, Linda's reminding me, and we're laughing about it as we're putting in the oil. But uh, a fourth of a cup and a little bit of butter is better than the original by far. So the batter looks beautiful, and while the cake is baking, we'll make a little, a little frosting. And here's the frosting. It's just a, a cup of the confectioner sugar. I got the organic kind from my health food store. A little bit of lemon zest and two tablespoons of lemon juice. So it's very simple. It's kind of like a, a glaze more than an icing, right? Oh, okay. Super simple. That's yeah. it. It's done. So we'll put this on the cake when it's cooled and uh, it's going to be delicious. Well, the cake was so good we couldn't wait to eat it. The, the problem I forgot this time around that this cake batter makes enough for two cakes. So I put that in the recipe. Go ahead and do not overfill the cake pan like I did because it dripped over and kind of burnt the edges, but it's still delicious. Well, this is just a lovely little quinoa salad that you can make ahead and eat all week long. And quinoa, as we know, is a very nutritious and wonderful grain. It has tons of protein, all the essential amino acids. And what I did was I just baked it in the oven. This has been cooled off a little bit, but it's a great way to make your quinoa and your brown rices in the oven. You just put a little coconut oil in a covered casserole dish, you need a lid, and put it um, one part grain to two parts water. I put a, a, a bouillon in here as well, which is optional, but it makes the quinoa taste delicious right out of the oven, which is fabulous. It's about 60 minutes at 350 degrees, and you know what? It's just it's just super easy. So then I have some chopped spinach. That's always good. Now, this is baby spinach that I bought, and if you buy the fully mature spinach leaves, they're going to be actually more flavorful. Um, but I'm being lazy again, so I went with just the package of the baby spinach, and it was just easy to chop up, and I just I'm doing things kind of lazy today, you know? That's okay. That's okay, because we're busy. It's cold um, outside. It, yeah, and it's cold out here in the Midwest. That was some green onion, scallion. Use the whole part of the green onion to the green part at the end, because um, that's that's good. And this is an allium vegetable. It's a, it's a cancer fighter. Really, really good. The celery, again, we are using more energy to digest celery than we, I mean, it's like a negative calorie effect. This is good stuff. And with that natural sodium and just being um, nice and crunchy, the celery is just a, a wonderful addition. So we need some color. And and to kind of um, be our bit of our sweetener, uh, I'm using these mandarin orange dip packets. I got these at the health food store. Um, you can use regular, regular navel oranges. You can use, what else? Sweet. You can use some ch um, dried cherries or any kind of dried fruit. But the, um, the oranges are going to add a nice little bit of sweetness. Red, something red, because we do need to think about color. Color has all the, the variety of nutrients, and it's also beautiful to look at. So I'm using these cherry peppers. They're kind of hot, sweet. And you can use um, prime colors. Yeah, go, go with colors. You can use. Look how pretty this is looking. Yeah, looks pretty. Can you see? Um, grape tomatoes would be a nice addition. Roasted red pepper could be your your red. And then I had some parsley on hand. I'm a big fan of parsley, so I'm just going to throw that in. Now that's that's optional. Everything's optional. This is just like throw your stuff together, and uh, but this will be nice to have all week to eat. And then 
These are slivered almonds, and I put them in the oven for about eight minutes at 350 degrees. Now, this with a little salt and pepper could mm -hmm. be your end product because okay. it's just going to be flavorful and delicious and nutritious. And you can, like I said, you have some for company. You can eat this all week long. You can give some to the neighbors. And it was super easy. Uh, you can also add a little bit of a, a dressing or a little bit of a, you know, oil. Just, right. But just don't overdo it because that's, again, we're trying to watch our fat. I would just add a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty color. So we're going to... We're gonna, we're gonna let you guys eat it without the dressing just to see what we get a little little vote in, in house today. Okay. Okay. We made some great recipes today. A wonderful cake that's that secret kind of Starbucks recipe cake that we lightened up quite a bit and it's still delicious. And we made a beautiful quinoa salad that you can eat all week long. Remember to make your, your grains in the oven. It's, it's just an easier, quicker way to do it. No thinking. And we made some beautiful shepherd's pies that were fast and easy and delicious and healthy. Enjoy your January and take care of yourself. You're worth it. I'm Jolovnik. Thank you.